so you were an attorney mm -hmm. and you were also in politics mm -hmm. and is it is it those roots that kind of stimulated you as a writer i mean what what was the what was the wellspring here the little voice in my head every single writer you've got it you have a little voice in your head and it doesn't tell you to write a bestseller and make a bunch of money and do all this kind of stuff. it simply tells you to sit down and write i need you to sit down and write if you will sit down and write i will shut up if you Did don't you write in college no, no 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 the little voice came to me in the 80s and I didn't know what it was. I ignored it, actually. I really did. I fought it. I fought it very hard. Mm -hmm. And then in the 1990, I sat down, I, write, I started writing. But it was 12 years from the day I wrote my first word to the day I sold my first word. Seriously? 12 years. I did eight manuscripts. Five went to New York houses, rejected 85 times. Holy smokes. I, I made had it, no idea. I made it the 86th time is where I made it, 12 years after the fact. It was a very long process for me. To, to make it into, into the publishing business. But during those 12 years of rejection, I learned the craft of writing. I learned how to put a novel together. I learned how, what, what I needed to do if I ever got there. And mm -hmm. when I got there, I was ready. And that was the cool part about it. Let uh, me talk about persistence. Yeah, I'm sort of the poster child for, you know, for it. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I set a high goal for I'm myself. I'm feeling sorry, and I'm like, hey, you know, this is... Uh... <laughs> it was tough, but the world was different then. That was 1990s. The, my kind of book was dead, mm -hmm. gone. The genre had died, and the genre came back in 2002 with Da Vinci Code, and 2003 yeah. particularly, and then I got my break. I caught my break, and, and God bless Dan Brown and Da Vinci because I wouldn't yeah. be here but for that.